Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful people doing today? Did I mention beautiful? <sighs> so, got quite a conundrum on my hands today. It turns out that uh, Brian, Forrest, and Miguel are getting together to do a little Florida adventure trip, checking out some different reptile places out in Florida. When Brian figured out the three of them were getting together, he called me and said, hey dude, do you think you can make it to Florida? And I was like, I don't know. And he's like, all right, well, if you can make it, great. And then Miguel started texting me like every 20 seconds, like, dude, are you coming? Dude, are you coming? Dude, are you coming? Dude, are you coming? I was like, maybe, I hope so, I'd like to, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And then I hit up Forrest, and he was like, dude, just get to Florida, I'll make sure you get picked up. I was like, all right, all right, all right. So, what I did, is I made myself a little sign here, and I'm gonna hitchhike. Wish me luck. Let's get this show on the road. Welcome to Finding Your Way to Florida Friday. Can you take me or not? Actually, I'm on my way to a job in Georgia right now, so I can get you at least that far. All right, sweet, let's go. Awesome. Good luck, man. Thanks, bro. What's up, bro? What are you doing in Georgia, man? I'm trying to get to Florida, man. Yeah, man, I can get you the line. Come on in. Well, I really appreciate you picking me up, man. Yeah. Saved my butt. I, I've already been, I got really lucky. My cousin picked me up on the other end, but yeah, Miguel's just been bothering me about coming out here so much, and uh, but then he didn't do anything about getting me out there. He just. Yeah, I didn't even get an invite. Yeah, well. So I don't know about that. He did, well, to be fair, he didn't invite me either. I got the, I, got, I heard from <laughs> Brian and Forrest that I should go, and then. I told Miguel about it. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you should go. <laughs> what like, a lame yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying Team JKR. That's right. <laughs> was that really a hitchhiker? That, dude, that looked that, dude, guy, that looked like Cusco. That looked like no. Cusco. No, well, there's no way that was him, dude. <laughs> no? If it was, I, I saw a sign that said something about like reptiles or something. Yeah, Are like, you serious? It said like Animal it's, Squad or something like that. Something. No. That, it did. Do you want to turn around or no? I just want to keep going. It I'm smells, down to keep going. What do you guys think? I mean, it smells like Cusco. I don't get it. Why would a Hawaiian be hitchhiking? Why yeah. Would yeah. Paradise to go? No. I don't understand. Dude, we're already here in Florida. He's all over, over there in um. The, where's he at? Well, yeah, you know, let's do this. Let's just let's, let's just yeah, let's, see let's just is. drive let's by, just, and if it's him, we can uh, stop. If you guys want to, if it's not, we'll just keep going. All right. All right. Okay, just keep call. going. Probably. It's not him, dude. He's not gonna be over there. No way. All right. I'm gonna just hang. I'm gonna roll the window down and just see. I want to get a real close look to see if it's him, man. Because I don't know. That guy looked like a bum. Be careful though. Hitchhikers in Florida, like that movie Monster and all that. Like, yeah, it can get really scary. Be careful, guys. I heard you don't have to conceal down here. Yeah. Yeah, that guy looks like a bum. Well, if it's Cusco, he ain't gonna be concealing much. This is the dude. I mean, go see the. I can't believe oh, you guys finally pulled by. I, dude, I'm so stoked. I, ah, you guys, dude, I'm ah, awesome. Dude. Gun it, Miguel. Get the that. hell out of here, quick. Oh, you hit him. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you, dude. Do you think 
it was really Cusco? No. No, no there's no way. He was just. Like, was it yeah, just looked like him. No, no way, man, man, dude. He kind of acted like him, but. That's crazy, yeah, that's man. Right. That was a girl. Say, yeah. That was a. No, for real, for real. We wanted to make sure it was you. We didn't know if it was you or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Oh, I swear to God, no, I swear to God, dude, I swear, I'm not, here. Punch it! No. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what's going on? I'm it so glad it. that it was you, dude. That's crazy. I thought these guys were my friends. <laughs> You're all yeah, they, they invite me, they make me hit trike, they invite me, and then make me hit trike. And then, I finally get all the way here, and then they just leave me standing on the side of the road, take my sign. Uh, what? It's cool, it's cool. He dropped it in here. He's not... See, these, these guys aren't friends, they're just people. Yeah. They, they we're, benefit. We're a family. What? We're a family. We should have pulled his little, they like, benefit little uh, from cardboard my, on the mine. floor, and we should start stomping on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so freaking funny, dude. Are we going to Ty's place? Yeah, let's go to Ty's place right now, man. Ty's Some place. Aguados! Food! <laughs> I figure everybody else is here filming, so I should do something different. I'm inside Ty Park's bathroom. That's pretty cool. This is different. So I've always wanted to come down and check out Ty's place. And we were just inside his house getting to check out some of his cool art that he's got on the wall, which uh, is really cool. But the really cool thing is here in Florida, of course, the climate is such that you can keep all these reptiles outside. And uh, I'm not sure where to start, so I'm just gonna look around and see if something strikes my eye. We'll just, we'll check that out. So I got Ty's permission to go inside some of the enclosures, or any enclosure I wanted to basically, so it's pretty cool to go inside with some of these monitors he's got here. Uh, it did just whip me with its tail, but that's part of the price you pay with getting close and personal with some of these animals. Dude, are you guys seeing the size of this Asian water monitor? I've never got to hold, I'm not a lizard guy of course, I keep snakes, but this is pretty awesome. I would love one day to have the opportunity to have enough time to have a lizard like this because you can't hold a snake like this. This is like a big baby, a big, big baby. <laughs> yeah, I know I just want a close up on the thing. Brian, it's Brian, you said I could have him. <laughs> you said that today. Oh, do you want more, Brian? Do you want more that was head up? It's perfect. I'm sorry, Miguel. Stock dude, he's really cuddling. Dude, I could really right cuddle now. with this guy with no problem. Oh man, that's so amazing. He was gifted to me. Uh, actually, he is a very rare parthenogenesis baby. Wow. Right? Uh, so it was the only one that has survived from that clutch. And he's almost eight foot now. If Florida wasn't on the other side of the country from all of my family, I would highly consider coming down here, man, and living. This place is like Hawaii, but you can keep all the reptiles you want. What a trip. So. Dude, dude, Forrest, dude, dude, I don't care what these guys say about you when you're not around. You're an alright dude. Yeah. Yeah. How you're come? Okay. How are you okay? Because you know, all those awesome rodents. Yeah? Yeah. All those awesome rodents. Yeah, you guys yeah. should check uh, check this check this yeah. out. That's about as deep as I get as far as Yeah, he's he's yeah, a rodent world. guy really. Yeah, he doesn't just a rodent dude. No morphs, no only rodents. No morphs, only rodents. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Cold Blooded Cafe. There will be a link in the description. Top quality rodents. I'm get, that's where I'm getting my rodents now from now on because they're awesome. A few things about our rodents. They're flash frozen in dry ice, so it's absolutely the freshest meat of any rodent company in the industry. Nobody else flash freezes like that. Our rodents are literally frozen solid within 15 minutes versus overnight in a walk-in freezer that can take eight to nine hours. Not only that, check out my collection at Zoo Dreams. I'm all about conservation, all about breeding rare species, so support one of your own and uh, give us a shot. $30 flat rate shipping. <laughs> I, did, I didn't even know that much about it, so I'm glad Forrest was here to actually tell you. That's why I wanted to wait till I got here to really show you. So we're gonna check out an animal that is close to my heritage of the Filipino nature, 
and uh, that makes it easier to figure out which animal to check out, the ones I'm related to. You know, a lot of amazing things come from the Philippines. I love Filipino people, I love the food, and I love Brian. Um, also some really rare species though, like the Philippine crocodile, uh, Crocodilus mindarensis, critically endangered. We really need to help those things, so uh, support crocodile conservation. But in here, we have a Philippine water monitor. Of all the species of water monitors, I think these are absolutely the most beautiful. This is amazing. amazing. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Look at this. I'm not sure that he's happy with us in here. Yeah, we are in trouble. Amazing reptiles in the Philippines incredible diversity and to see these guys in their outdoor environment look at the color on them you can tell these are just some of the healthiest monitors around check out this little melanistic shingleback skink this guy is fantastic man i'm really geeking out on all the lizards here i never get to geek out on lizards at home taking a break from uh, checking everything out and going to get a little drink yep. and I thought it would be a good time to find out what do you know I know my wallabies name is Joey monster and that's what I know <laughs> Can you give us just a little bit about like what your inspiration was to get this place going the way you have it? Oh wow, uh, where do I start really? I mean, um, I bought this place in 2007. Both of my kids left the house and I wanted to really focus on my passion. I live in Chicago, obviously that's my home. So I had a discussion with my wife and she said, yeah, you know, if you want to do this in Florida, go for it. And my focus always has been you know, having a facility like this that I could share with other people. And that's important to me. And education is important to me. And giving back to society and um, uh, conservation is important to me. And hopefully you can make it back for one of the Iguana Fests. Yeah, really cool. absolutely. Yeah. That's one of the, you know, conservation things that we do. Actually, believe it or not, you know, in uh, a little more than 10 years, like last December, um, we gave away more than half a million dollars from this farm. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's Conservation, amazing. Conservation, U.S. arts, and you know, local amazing. groups and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's passion kind of um, going crazy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, man. Thank you. Check out this tame, tame rhino iguana. Gives him happy little scritchy scratches from Ty. Yeah, Donkey Kong is his name that my employees gave him. <laughs> That's a good name, Donkey Kong. Isn't it? What's up, Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong is chilling. This is a little baby rhino iguana. This is going to grow up to be a little big Donkey Kong. A little big Donkey Kong. What are you looking for? That's pretty sweet. I've never seen a baby. Awesome. Ty, thank you for having us, man. I really oh, appreciate man. it. Really Anytime, buddy. Thank you. Mm. Appreciate it. Take care of yourself and take care of each other, all right? Okay. Check out Junior. He's going with me to the vet today. He's still not 100%. He's finished his antibiotics, but we still got more work to do with him, unfortunately. Um, you can see here, his face is still pretty swollen. It's been off and on. Oh, sorry, Junior. So his face hasn't been like that the whole time.